Hello everybody and welcome back to the Gamer Donnie channel here on YouTube. I'm Gamer Donnie and we're going to play some American Truck Simulator today. We're in the John Ruda's new Freightliner Cascadia truck and it looks pretty damn good actually. Um, it's just this is what the inside looks like. Then we got the outside here. We'll just put the Swift skin on there just for the hell of it. Uh, I had a trailer that matched it. so. And this is John Ruda's drive van trailer too. Yeah, this truck is uh, pretty nice actually. Um, I didn't do a whole bunch of customization to it, but I did do some. Um, but you can get like chrome bumpers, chrome side skirts, you know. You can just you can deck it all out if you want to. You can even stretch the frame on it. Um, but we're just going to go like this. So uh, we're in here in uh, San Antonio right now. We're going to go down to McAllen, Texas. With uh, 22,271 pounds of computers. Um, says 294 miles. About six hours to get there is what it says. And we got to get there kind of fast too. Because uh, this is an urgent load. So uh, we're going to push it a little. Let's see, get that shit off the screen. Okay. And it's got it's a Detroit Series 60 in it. Uh 534 horsepower, I believe it is, with the 13 speed. Let's fire this thing up and uh, hit the road as soon as we figure out how to get out of here. Now you could, there's three different places you can have GPS. You can have one down here in that corner. You can have one up there, right there in the middle of the window. And then this is uh, the SISL's uh, tablet thing used for GPS. These other ones, uh, the ones that come with the truck, uh, there's hard for me to see for some reason. I don't know, it's because it's too bright outside. I don't know what to do with this, but it's hard to see and you couldn't really make them out. So I just used the SISL one. All right. Let's get these computers on the road. Uh, the onboard computer thing there I mean you can see it but it's it's a little hard to read but it's alright we don't really need that anyway let's see a right turn We're gonna feel like just about the truck, so we don't have to worry about none of that stuff. This thing should get decent fuel mileage with that Detroit in it. The old Detroit. graphics problem fixed. I had the, in the NVIDIA game experience, uh, there's a setting in there where you can overscale it or rescale it. I had that turned on, so I turned that off and then if you go into your uh, overlay for your game experience under performance, I had that automatic tuning was turned on. I turned that off too and it runs great now. We're at max settings. and not having a problem out of it so far. Cause it's getting that 
I don't know what you want to call it, stuttering or shuddering. But Keep right. After 50 it was pretty bad. Turn right. Turn right. Gotta be in this other lane. How's everybody doing out there on YouTube land? You guys are doing pretty good. Having a great day, hopefully. We just be trucking. We be trucking. exit down the other side and back on the highway. Donut planet. Go straight. I don't know what the hell they call it a donut for. No damn nuts in it. Damn, you almost took out the barrels. I was thinking about putting an automatic transmission in it, but I thought, eh, we'll just go with the 13 speed. 18 speeds are pretty, uh, or last transmissions are big, but they're, they're real good for heavy hauling or a lot of mountain driving and stuff. We're just going to be on the interstate. It's like a 13 speed, and that's what Swift Trucks got in them so far, anyway. It's a 13. Unless it's automatic, of course. Sort of sign back there said 75 on it.
put a uh, mod in. It's supposed to make the speed limits down in there in Mexico, the reformer part in Mexico. It's supposed to make the speed limits more realistic so your delivery time and everything will be the way it should be. I don't know if it's screwed up this or not. Because the sign says 75, but it's only saying 60. I'm thinking that's screwing, uh, screwing up the speed limits on the regular map. Played some Euro Truck Simulator too. That's, I'm kind of enjoying that actually. It's been a long time since I played that. Yeah, those speed limits are screwed. drove a Freightliner uh, Cascadia before. I drove Old Century. That was a piece of junk. Had over a million miles on it. That thing was a, <laughs> it was a piece. Yeah, every time you go to sleep and you wake up, you'd have to let the truck build the air pressure up because the airlines had leaks in them under the hood. Not bad enough so we couldn't be able to drive it, but as you sleep and all the air drain out. I mean, it was still, you know, hit illegal. It was right on the line, though. Vehicle inspection station. And we got a red line. Next left. I don't think we can go in there, can we? Yeah, it looks like we can. Come on. I hate when they do that shit. Trying to turn, you're gonna stop right in front of me.
55,322 pounds. How's my vehicle not in perfect order? I just bought the fucking thing. Oh, it might be the trailer's damage. There's a Swift trailer too, so that's probably what it is. That's a great model, as always, from John Ruda. Only expect the best. I'll have to go in and add some of the Z mods and sounds onto the uh, truck. Which is really simple to do. I'm using Project Next Change Graphics mods, so it gives us 4K textures and 8K skybox. Then I got a real night and daytime mod in where it makes the sun set and rise at actual the right time. about maybe adding a CIP's uh, traffic density mod in. I think it's, uh, traffic mods use a lot of the CPU though. I mean not like it matters. I got a 16 core 32 thread or up gigahertz and overclocks itself processor. It's a bit of overkill for gaming but When I bought it, I did 3D animations, rendering them and editing videos. Texas map mod or Texas mod that adds more to small cities in Texas and the back roads I guess you can call it so I ain't really gonna mess with that and test it out
great buzzy the little flies back again. I'm gonna kill you one of these days. You will be dead. To get me a frog. Eat those damn flies. Welcome to McAllen, everybody. McAllen, Texas. Population three and a half. Tenth Street or not Tenth Street? Come on. Looks like we're going to be taking right. 10th Street. After 50 exit yards, yeah. exit right ahead. Yeah, exit and then exit followed right by ahead. a left turn. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. I'm not very good with all that fancy camera work like the other people are. Every time I try to do something like that, I end up crashing. Red light, red light, green light, red light. My speed limit's right on this part. Maybe that road back there is just a road that you only do 60 of it for trucks. But speed limit signs did say 75, well, I do know that. that Peter
Come on, traffic light. Let's go. Burning a half gallon of fuel an hour sitting here idle. You got the damn sun. Can't tell whether it's green or not. After 100 yards, turn right. They got a water leak. Turn right. Turn left. Sure about that left turn there, driver? Yep. You have reached your destination. You have reached your destination. It's a good truck, I like it. Really well done. Definitely worth it. It's my opinion anyway. Let's see what we got going on here. 293 miles, 7 hours, 10 minutes, 52.7 gallons of fuel consumed. And we made $21,380. And we're level what 38 yeah we just hit 38 i hope you enjoyed this video let's just check it out the new freightliner really but uh nonetheless hope you enjoyed it you guys know what to do don't forget to like subscribe share and leave a comment down below we'll see you in the next video have a great day